Station 5 of your Bitch Park review of Magical Whiteboard Appears, and we're talking about quadratics. Oh, oh, oh. Remember, quadratics, graph a parabola. Higher level math is basically the study of these parabolas. All your electronic devices use these parabolas to, to work, okay? So you need to know the key parts of a parabola and what happens when you change. So I'm going to zoom in here real quick. And do y'all see the this, parab this part right here, okay? Remember, the A makes it thinner or, th or wider, and if it's negative, it flips it. The H goes left or right, the K goes up or down, but the H is opposite, right? Something else, the C is going to be your Y-intercept every time, okay? And we've got to know what these parabolas do, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is graph x squared minus 6x plus 5. So I'm going to go to my calculator. I'm going to go to graph. I'm going to hit tab, x squared, tab, x squared, minus 6x, plus 5. So I have, plus 5. So I have my parabola graph. Now that I'm going to hit menu 413 and find these points. So menu 4, I'm sorry, that's for stuff. Menu, and then I want to trace 5, and then 1 is graph trace. Menu 413 is a spreadsheet. I just did that, right? Notice it starts off at the y-intercept at 0, 5. This calculator tells you the parts of the parabola. I'm going to hit the right arrow button, and notice that my first 0 is 1, or the x-intercept, right? Keep going to the bottom, and the bottom is right here, 3, negative 4. Notice it says minimum. That's my vertex. So I'm going to go to my paper, and I'm going to put 3, negative 4 right here. That's going to go in the middle of my table. Then I'm going to put 2, 1, 4, 5, and I'm going to put a 0 up here because that 0 is going to be my y-intercept. Now then go to your... Uh, Go to your calculator, and I'm just going to hit 4, enter. Notice 4 is negative 3. So I'm going to go to my spreadsheet and put negative 3 right here. Now then I'm going to hit 5, enter. 5, enter. 5, enter, 0 in it. And 6, enter. 6, enter is 5. Okay? So I'm going to go to my spreadsheet. This was 0. This is 5. Something I taught you is these numbers are going to flip. So this will be negative 3. That will be 0. This will be 5. We're going to go over here and graph. 0, 5, 1, 0, 2, negative 3, and we get this parabola, don't we? This is the normal size of a parabola, okay? Now then, let's go over here and label it. What are the zeros of the parabola? The zeros are the numbers with 0 to the right. They're 1 and 5. The y-intercept starts off with 0, so that's 5. The max or min, this right here, the vertex, is my max or min. This number is going to be the minimum. It's a minimum, and the minimum is negative 4. The range, remember the range is what the y's could be. The y's will never go below negative 3. They're always going to be above it, okay? Or it's actually negative 4. I didn't draw this graph right, didn't I? Okay, so my range is greater than or equal to negative 4. Technically, these dots should be here, here, and here, right? Okay, I messed up the dots. And then lastly, the axis of symmetry is your is the x of the parabola, okay? Now then, let's go to the next one. Remember, this flips it. So is it negative? Yes. So it's going to reflect across the x-axis. The one half is going to make it wider or it's going to vertically compress it. So that's a vertical compression of one half. Compress of one half. And then this plus three, always write the opposite of the number in the parentheses. This is a horizontal, I'm going to put H for horizontal, shift. And it's not right three, it's left three because it's opposite, right? And then lastly, the 5, I'm going to put V for vertical, a vertical shift up 5. That's the transformations. Make sure you're going to see that tomorrow. Make sure you know those transformations. 
You're going to do wonderful on your start or your benchmark. Believe always on my shirt. Always believe. Remember, you are amazing. You were created to do wonderful things. And you are awesome.